If you go to my GitHub, it's github.com slash gesture excel and the React Enzyme Unit Test Examples project. I have three branches there that show all the code I showed today and allow you to play with the different versions. That gives you a feel to see what feels right for you and your team. If you click on the side effects branch, the pure class branch, and the pure, they're all listed here as well. I have a readme that's duplicated that shows you what it basically is doing, and then I have all three of them in different code base. You can just switch to the branches. The API doesn't change, just the test inside the UI and some of the functions. And if you click the gist, I have an article here that describes more of the feelings behind why I tested the different ways. So if you want to read that, it gives you another example that you can send to your coworkers and argue why Jesse Warden's right or wrong, or maybe brings up rehashed ideas that are already known. So I hope that helps, gives you a better idea. Yeah, I prefer pure, but when working with teams, I'm a little more pragmatic and I'd willing to do the pure class way just because it still allows you to keep classes. But if you make them pure, those classes can be self-contained. So you have the best of boot, best of FP. It's a good, stateful way. And almost all the examples are using the side effect examples, which I still think are important because you want to see the component work. This is kind of like the baby steps of getting your functional testing. So I definitely encourage you to check out Enzyme. If you look at the docs for React, Create React App, they're actually pointing <laughs> to use Enzyme instead of their stuff, which is pretty telling. So you got any other questions, hit me up in the comments. You can hit me up on Twitter as well. I'm Jester Excel. I'm on Facebook, all the other social media. Thanks for your time, and I hope this helps.